Having trouble playing defense in Madden 24? Help me! Help me! Whether you're having trouble stopping the run, can't seem to stop the pass to save your life, you suck! This is the video for you, so if you want to see the best tips, tricks, and cheats for better defense, Stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. I'm going to start off with some tips you can do before the snap, and my first tip is going to be something you can do before you even pick a play, with some tips from your coaching adjustments. But before I do, I do these type of videos all year long, so if you guys are serious about improving your game, make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you want to see more videos like this. If you're struggling on defense and you never touch your coaching adjustments, that's probably a big reason why, as there are so many advantages to be had here, as I literally change every single coaching adjustment here every single game I play from default to something, to the point where I could really do an entire video about just this section but i already made a video like that so in this video i'm only going to go over the two that i think are the most important and give you the biggest advantage but if you want to see more from that video that i made about coaching adjustments i will have a link in the description and an on-screen pop at the end of the video so stick around for that the first coaching adjustment that i think gives you the biggest advantage is setting auto alignment to base doing this will make it so that your defense will come out in the same cover four shell look every single play no matter what defense you call you can see as i switch through the defenses that no one moves or changes this adjustment is important because if forces your opponent to read your defense after the snap, which only gives them a few seconds to make a decision before the pass rush gets home, a lot of times resulting in bad decisions. Without this set, defenses are easy to read from more experienced players, and they will have a full 30 seconds to take their time, read a defense, and pre-diagnose where they're going to go with the ball, <laughs> making playing offense much easier. Thank you! If you don't know how to read a defense, I also made a video about that, and I'll once again have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, as it's a very helpful skill to know how to do. Just remember, you can always take this coaching adjustment off by basically base aligning before the play by simply hitting the wire triangle button to bring up your coaching adjustments and base aligning by hitting right on the left stick. The next coaching adjustment that gives you the biggest advantage to me is to set your zone coverage to match, which is only available on next gen consoles. Doing this will only affect matching zone coverages, but it will make them play much more effectively. Matching zone coverages are defenses like cover four quarters and cover three seam. You can tell these from other cover three and cover four defenses because they have light purple zones compared to dark purple zones in the diagram. As light purple is for matching seam flats while regular cover three is for curl flats. You can also find matching cover two defenses when you see light blue flats called soft squats compared to darker blue cloud flats, which you traditionally find in Tampa two. To show you an example of the difference, I will first show you guys how a cover four match reacts to a very common play found in multiple formations and that is the bench concept and you can see that it prioritizes the deeper routes leaving the shorter out routes wide open underneath for easy yards now if i turn the matching zone coverage on you will see that the outside cornerbacks will now drop down and man match these out routes to take them away and now every route is covered one-on-one -on -one across the entire field just remember if you have this setting on you can always turn it off once again before the play by playing sticks in your coverage adjustments menu doing this this will reset this as well as your zone drop settings to default for that play. Next up, the easiest way to stop someone on offense is if you know what they're going to do before they do it. And there's several ways to figure this out before the play starts if you are paying attention to the quarterback's pre-snap animations. Because there's only a handful in this game and I'm going to show you exactly what they mean. If the quarterback is under center in any formation, whether it's goal line, eye form, single back, and he wants to flip a run play to either side, he will always do an animation where he taps his shoulders. If he is not under center, like in a shotgun or a pistol formation, he will instead tap his hip. So that means if you ever see any of these movements from a quarterback pre-snap, you know he is most likely going to run. As every other adjustment, whether that's changing the play or changing a route, will result in the quarterback making a very different animation where he turns his head and yells in the direction of the route he is changing. Just remember, you can always fake flip a play from a passing formation by hitting the right stick in either direction. It just won't do anything. Now, if you are pretty confident that you know what your opponent is going to do in the next play, you have the option to guess run or gas pass by hitting the right bumper or r1 button from playstation once again and either up on the right stick to guess pass or down on the right stick to guess run if you guess pass you will see several advantages as this adjustment will make all of your defenders go into their pass coverage assignments faster rather than waiting for their play recognition ratings to kick in which decides how quickly they turn into their coverage assignments or how quickly the pass rushers will go after the quarterback this adjustment will make your pass rushers abandon their run gap fits while going to their pass rush moves quicker and they will also ignore 
any play action fakes and go right after the quarterback. Just be sure to only use this when you are absolutely sure because guessing wrong can have disastrous consequences as guessing pass on a run play will make your defender slower in pursuit and weaker against blocks, making it much easier to run for your opponent. While guessing run on a pass play will see almost all of your defenders abandon their coverage assignments, resulting in wide open receivers down the field. So use these options cautiously. Next up, if you are having trouble stopping the run, you might not be calling the right defense, as some defenses are much better than others when it comes to run defense. The worst run defense is cover two, and the best run defense is cover four, whether that's match or regular, as the safeties will always play the run first as long as you don't guess pass. Making this defense look like a nine-man run commit, as only the outside cornerbacks will immediately drop back to cover the pass. So if you expect your opponent to run, call cover four, bring the safeties closer to the line of scrimmage for extra support. Just just remember that guessing pass once again will cancel this out and will make your safeties immediately drop back into coverage. If you want better pass coverage, the best way to get it is by getting more pressure on the quarterback. One of the easiest ways to do this is by gap stacking before the play starts. All you have to do to help out any blitz you call is blitz the user defender you are controlling and hover any gap on the line of scrimmage before dropping back into coverage. The closer you are to the center and the ball, the better, as this is the shortest path to the quarterback. Doing this before dropping into coverage will change the offensive line's blocking assignment is to prioritize you since you are closest to the quarterback, often leaving further away pass rushers to get in unblocked. If you get grabbed by alignment, you can usually just walk away, leaving them blocking nobody, but it's best if you can pull away and just leave them staring at you as you drop into coverage. Next up, there are several important functions that you can do after the snap as well that will help you out on defense. I'm going to start off with some functions that most players don't even know they can do. If you're new to defense, you might feel more comfortable using a defensive lineman and rushing the passer, but it's really best to play in coverage and try to control more of the field that way. If you aren't comfortable in coverage just yet, there is a function that I think can help you called the press slash chuck receiver function. This is probably meant more for man coverage, but you can also use it like training wheels for someone trying to get more comfortable in covering receivers. All you have to do to use this function is hover the receiver you want to cover before the play starts and make sure that you are directly in front of them as possible. If you're too far inside or outside, it can cause your defender to miss the jam or allow the receiver to get off of it faster. Once the play starts, all you have to do is push and hold down on the air X button if you're on PlayStation and down on the right stick and your defender will stick like glue allowing the receiver's route to guide you in coverage down the field. Another important function that a lot of people don't know about is important to containing mobile quarterbacks. If you're ever facing a fast quarterback or a player that likes to scramble and move in the pocket a lot, there is a function to help with that by simply pushing in the right stick or the R3 button. Doing this will make the closest defender to the quarterback leave his coverage assignment and go after the QB. But be aware that this will happen whether you're in man or zone so this will leave either a receiver or an area of the field uncovered. So it's best to be aware to who is closest and leaving their assignment so that you can take over and cover that assignment yourself. Next up, if you have a lot of dropped interceptions, it's probably due to bad timing when hitting the catch button. Years ago, there was a glitch where everyone was just holding the button in and it would guarantee a perfectly timed catch. So EA changed it to institute a timing penalty for people who did this. Now, all you have to do to get around this and still have that effect is tap the catch button repeatedly and it will once again remove the timing penalty as it resets every time you hit the button. This also works on offense when catching the ball as well. So whether whether on offense or defense, if you're dropping too many catches, just tap the Y or triangle button repeatedly for less drops. My last tip might be the most important, and that is the best way to tackle in Madden 24. And to me, that is dive tackling, as this tackle type seems to be the most overpowered for several reasons. Number one, if you land a dive tackle, it will completely ragdoll the ball carrier. <laughs> and guarantee a tackle just about every time no matter who you're tackling. Doing this will also remove the chances of triggering a tackle battle as the ball carrier will immediately go down. This is not the best way to tackle when in front of the ball carrier though as the cut stick, which is down the right stick, is much better when meeting a ball carrier face to face like this. As the dive tackle can get stiff armed more easily, but from just about every other angle the dive tackle is best, whether it's in pursuit from the side or behind, as it will let you travel further distances faster when you jump. So that's that's the vid. If you guys enjoyed this video, and want to see more please make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button and if you want to see more tip videos right now about the best coaching adjustments to use or how to read a defense i will have those videos popping up on screen now so just click links as i'm sure to help your game and i'll see you next time thanks for watching that money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below